In this video, I'm going to uh, run through stepwise how to clear a clog in your uh, bathroom sink. Same thing, uh, same kind of steps basically hold true for uh, a kitchen sink as well. Uh, number one, in a bathroom sink, where your clogs are most likely going to be is in here. Hair will build up and other stuff. Uh, in this area here and the other place it will occur is in the trap down below here where uh, gunk can uh, build up down in here. First step if you look down here and it's an open one like this uh, and you see a build up clog of that just simply take a pair of tweezers pull the stuff out uh, have a piece of paper towel uh, someplace up here by the side of the sink because there will be some pretty gross gunk coming out of there if that's uh, where the clog is. Uh, but uh, uh, good chance if you see gunk build up there, that's where the problem is. If you have a pop-up drain, you're, uh, you're not going to be able to get tweezers down there. Now if you have a pop-up drain, you can reach for the Drano to clear uh, hair clogs. I don't have a uh, bathroom sink with a pop-up drain, so I'll use it on my uh, bathroom bathtub. What I usually do is put a couple of tablespoons of drain cleaner down. Let's say that's a couple. Follow it with some water. Not too much because you don't want to wash it too far down. Close the drain like that. Leave the bathroom, close the door, turn on your fan, because this stuff is really caustic. Uh, if you breathe it in, it can kind of irritate your, uh, your throat and lungs. So if you don't have to breathe it in, don't. Try to hold your breath when you're working with it. So it's been about 20 minutes. I'll uh, fill the bathtub up with about three inches of cold water, and then pull the drain and let that cold water flush away all that uh, gunky hair and stuff and uh, hopefully that cleans out your clog. And if it doesn't, go to the next step. That's what you want to see. Let's say that you've tried the Drano and you still have standing water in your sink. Uh, my drain's not clogged, so I'm cheating here by putting a bit of uh, Kleenex in the, uh, in the drain. I'll, uh, we'll move to the next step. So this is uh, just a basic little $3 plunger you can buy from the big box uh, hardware stores. And it's great for uh, sink clogs and bathtub clogs. Every bathroom sink has an overflow, which is, uh, every bathroom sink has an overflow, which that's what this is here. And it allows the water, if you forget the, uh, the, the tap that's turned on, and start filling up the sink, it overflows into the drain system so you don't have a flood. That you have to plug up if you're going to plunge the sink. Otherwise, all your, all your plunging, all your plunging uh, energy just runs up here and air can get in and out and you don't have any, uh, any suction created. You can uh, plug the overflow with a piece of duct tape. The surface of the sink has to be absolutely dry for the duct tape to stick. You can also hold a damp cloth in front of the hole. Uh, even the duct tape, uh, you have to, while you're plunging, you have to kind of hold it in place because the action of the plunging will actually blow it off. Okay, so plunging, hold the tape on, put a little plunge down there, kind of press all the air out of the plunger so you have as much uh, you have water and not a lot of air in there because the air will expand and contract and take away the, the plunging action. And then just, you, know, you don't have to go too fast, up and down, up and down. Work away at it. And you should be able to feel if the obstruction breaks up, all of a sudden you'll see things, feel things move a little bit uh, easier. If you have a double kitchen sink, you'll have to put a stopper in one of the drains and plunge the other one. Uh, you may have to uh, get somebody to hold that down. You can try filling it up with water to put pressure on it. 
but uh, likely when you start plunging that's going to blow right out and uh, you won't get any plunging force. So another way you can use a product like uh, like Drano, uh, sodium hydroxide drain cleaner, is, uh, is to use a lot of it and leave it in the system uh, for a long time, say overnight. So before you go to bed, you uh, and you might want to wear safety glasses. Uh, you know, I wear glasses, so I don't bother. You may want to wear rubber gloves. Main thing is you don't want to breathe the fumes from this stuff. They are just nasty, nasty. But uh, you just pour down a lot of this into the drain. Put some water down after it. Put the plug on. Shut your bathroom door and leave it for several hours and it may work its way all the way through the system to where the clog is and work on that overnight and sometimes you can uh, you can get rid of clogs that are further along in the system that are either down in the trap or even further someplace in the wall so you just pour down probably three or four tablespoons full of this A little bit of cold water. Not too much because you don't want to dilute it too much. Put the plug in and get out of the bathroom. Shut the door and leave her go overnight. So if the drain cleaner has worked and water starts moving down the drain again, run lots of water down, gallons and gallons, because that helps flush out whatever was in there and uh, get your drains nice and clear and working again. So you have tried the plunger, you've tried drain cleaner, and the water is still not flowing. Next step is to uh, check out the uh, trap down here. Take it apart if you can. Uh, plastic ones you can usually take apart using this joint and this joint way up here. Usually this joint is down closer to there, but these will come, uh, come apart. Uh, and you can clean that trap out. You're going to need something to catch the water in because there's going to be water at least in here. Uh, and uh, if you're lucky, you'll be able to loosen these by hand. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's right off. If you're not lucky and have them loosened by hand, you can use channel lock pliers like that. Just be real careful that you don't crunch down on it too much because this will break. And this up here will break as well uh, and uh, if that happens you're running to the hardware store hoping you can find the uh, exact match to that this is a, a plastic uh, trap uh, they come apart pretty easily if you have a metal one it may mean that your plumbing is uh, like 20 30 40 years old uh, they do come apart if they have some kind of uh, uh, threaded fitting on them. The other thing to consider with metal ones when you do try to take them apart, if you have uh, particularly uh, nasty water conditions in your area, uh, the metal can deteriorate to the point that uh, the threads will be locked together or the threads will just disintegrate when you try to uh, take it apart. Unscrew. Up till it's loose. Unscrew the bottom till it's loose. Pour that out. Now you might find, well, if you got a clog in here, it's going to be all gunked up. You don't want to stick your finger in there. Uh, depending on how, how long you've had the house, uh, you know, I've found all kinds of stuff in there, including needles. So you want to use some kind of a uh, 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 like a old bread knife or something like that that you're going to throw away or a screwdriver to kind of clear that out of there. So you clear that out just reverse in terms of the uh, these if they came off finger tight you probably put them back on finger tight. Say you've tried plunging it, you've tried drain cleaner, you've taken the trap apart and cleaned that out and you still have an obstruction. That means the obstruction is down in here someplace. Now you got to ramp it up to using a snake. This is a small little snake. 
uh, 25 foot long of flexible steel uh, cable in there. Uh, they're about 20 bucks at uh, the hardware stores. And basically all you do is you feed some out, put it down the drain and spin this and that spins it around inside the drain and can help break up or create a path for the water to go down. So I'll take this apart. So the snake has a screw here, it can do. Feed it into there, tighten it up, screw up to hold the cable in place. And you can just spin it around a bit. Sometimes you can spin it around and push it in and that helps it go in a little bit further. And it will go go around pretty any much any bends you got in the pipes. You just keep on working your way in. Tightening up the screw there. Spinning around. Pull it back and forth a bit. And you're probably not going to feel the obstruction with this thing because this is uh, it's got a fair bit of uh, heft to it and most obstructions are just, you know, gunk. Uh, so it'll probably go right through it. How far you want to go, uh, you know, basically uh, if this is the only drain that's causing you problems in the house, really uh, 10 feet should be more than enough uh, of 10 feet of this cable in here to, uh, to clear it out. Uh, if it doesn't, you're probably looking at having to get uh, professional help. And then when you're done, pull it out, feed it back in there. Depending on how squeamish you are, you may want to use gloves. Well, I hope that has helped you and will help you with uh, your clogged drain problems. Thanks for watching and good luck.